You know, every time we get ready to clean the house, and you, you get the vacuum cleaner out, I'll tell you, you, you just can't reach where you need to reach. You can't get up high with it. You can't get back in the little crevices with it and all that stuff. And so I got so sick and tired of that. And so, what, I'll tell you the truth, I saw this Dyson advertised on TV, on the QVC, and it looked, it looked like it was doing a real good job. You know, and I mean, well, the attachments looked like that was just exactly what I wanted. And so I went to uh, Kohl's to see if I could find one, and they were just way up there in price range. And the Shark here looks like about the same thing, except this has got two batteries on it, where uh, the uh, Dyson only has the, the battery package that stays with it. And uh, little things like that. So anyway, this one is a whole lot cheaper than what the, what the Dyson was. Uh, and everybody will say, well, it's not a Dyson either. Well, that's true. It's a shark. And so far, I've not heard anything bad about shark either. So I'm going to take this thing out of the box and look at it and see uh, if it'll do about what we want it to do. This the box, and this is down in this corner over here. I'll pull that out. Then you got this box here you get out and it's got all these little goodies in it. Okay, it's got a little extra hose in there and for some reason it's got this little, uh, I don't even know what you call that stuff, part anymore. But anyway, you got one of those. And then this is bound to be where you set your battery up and charge it at. On that. Then you get your charger in here. And last but not least, you got a little crevice tool in here. So, let's see what else we can find. Okay, make sure you can see that better here. Um, this is the uh, main head for the carpet sweeper. Oh, that looks pretty nice too. This is Duo Clean. So. Now this looks pretty nice and heavy duty. I hope you can see it. I can't see what you're seeing on this thing. But I hope hope you can uh, see what I'm talking about there. This is, looks like it's nice and heavy duty. Now it's got these two rollers here. It's got the brush back here. And it's got this little smooth looking roller here. Anyway, I've seen them advertise that on TV too. So now, let's see what else is in here. Okay, here's one of the batteries. Here's one of the battery packs for it. Okay, I'll put that aside. Here's another battery pack. Oh, and here's your uh, canister and stuff like that. As you can see. Looks pretty nice and heavy duty too. That looks like about it. What's in that? Uh, what's in that uh, box there? So let me get it put together and we'll see what we can do with it. You can see here this battery is almost charged up and it's been charging for oh a little bit over an hour. 
So it's on its uh, third bar now. As soon as it finishes, we'll see what it'll do. And I found out when it, <clears throat> when it finishes charging, all the lights go out. And so now it's got a full charge on it. So we'll take this one out of here. You uh, let me move this a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. You have to, uh, along the bottom here, it's a little gray spot. You grab it and you pinch it together and pull it right straight out, just like that. Now, we're going to unplug this one. And all we have to do, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this right here, This right here on one side you have two of these little notches like this that's connectors and on the other side over here you only have one. Well to see which way it goes you just have to look down inside your camera here. Up the camera, look inside the vacuum cleaner here. And I don't know if I can ever get it to where you can see that or not. And turn on the light. That didn't help much, but anyway, if you look down in here, if you look down in here, there's a, on one side it's got the, uh, there you can see it a little bit, it's got two connectors, you can see where it pushes in, on the other side it's got one. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to slide in just like that. And hear it click. Now, you hit that button. And if you notice, you got three lights that comes on here. That shows you got a full charge. Okay, now, we'll take this other one here that I've been playing with and plug it up. Because you got this little port right here that you plug right in. Just, well, I can't get out of the way of the camera here. Plug it in like that. Now you can see it's only got this one light flashing here, and it's got to come all the way up to this, so it has three. And like I say, when it gets up here, it'll just stop all of a sudden uh, flashing. We're with you a couple of these little things here. I, I love this little thing. I've been playing with it, and the more you play with it, the better you like it. Because you get this, uh, you get this attachment here, which is looks just like this. You know, I guess I should get further away, to see better. It's like this, you know, and it's got that long tube down it like that. Okay, and that will plug right on the end here. You just push it on the end, and that way you can reach up and. Now it's got this little brush that you push out here. You have to match the sides in to make the little brush go out. And it locks into position. Now you got this little brush out here you can do stuff with. And you just pick it up and hit that button. And you go around everything you want to, you know. Just get all the little crooks and crannies off, you know. Get them in there. Okay, after that, you have this attachment here, which you can put on here like this. And it'll, adjust, it'll sort of adjust too, you know, it rolls around different ways. It goes like that. And you Flat surfaces, you know, and bigger, bigger surfaces. And then the one I dropped on the floor, started rolling around. Is this one here, the crevice tool? You know, that's always handy to have. Just hit that little button right there, and it lights up, and, and go again. You got the brush, you know. 
uh, that's some of the things that it's got. One of the things it don't have, but I really wish it did have, is this little brush right here. Of course, I just get it off my other, my old shark, and it, it fits right on there just like, just like the others do. And, uh, but this is one of my favorite tools, so I'll be using this with this vacuum a lot. Now, let's see if I can get it put back together for you. Put it back together, all you have to do is take this piece right here and just plug it right back in here. You can see you got these three little prongs right here that stick up and they go into this little thing right here it's got the three holes in it so you just line them up but then you hear it click like that and now you're ready to use this the rest of it in order to do that you hit the button to get going hold your foot on it knock it down and then your brush starts turning that's a good thing I like about the sharks is, I don't know if the rest of them are like that or not, I don't have any of that stuff. But the sharks, if, if you stand it up like this, well, if you can stand it up like that, the brush stops turning. That way you're not digging a hole or wearing out your carpet in one spot or something. You do it like that, it takes off. Now this thing has got a booster on it. Now listen to the difference in the motor. Boost. And you just hit it again, it goes off. Okay, what I want to show you here is like this light right here. Now, see, that's for carpet. And if you go to this one over here, you push this right here and that goes over, that's just like your bare floors and stuff like that. So that, hit this one, that goes up here, that's for your carpet. And hit it again, that's for your bare floors. And over here is your boost. And you just hit it another time and it quits. So, now I like the little lights that's got on it down here. Where you see where you're going. I had it on for bare floor and it didn't turn right. You got to put it on the carpet. I was wondering why it didn't turn good. But there it goes. You see it's got little lights on it. And of course you got where you can lay and turn around your corners and corners real good. <laughs> like that. And I tell you what, the more I use it, the better I like it. And I sure I'm getting up a lot of dirt that I didn't know I was there because it's not been that long since I vacuumed. But this little thing seems to be picking it up pretty good without any problem. So, anyway, I think that's about all there is to this thing that I can explain to you. So, maybe you want more look at one if you're considering getting another one another vacuum cleaner or maybe a cordless vac. That's really, really one reason I don't want to have a cordless vac. That's why I can reach up and get stuff with the wand. But you might want to consider this little sharp ion here. And it's, uh, I think this is a duo clean too because you got the two brushes on it in the front. But like I say, Go to the store and look at them, compare them with that Dyson if you want to. And I'm sure the Dyson might have a little bit on them. I don't know why well, I'm not sure, but they might. But for the price, you know, uh, there's a lot of difference in the price. So, oh, and another thing too, Dyson won't even like Coles uh, honor their 
there are coupons when you buy a Dyson either. And you, you, they'll honor the coupon with the uh, chart. So that's another thing too. So like you got 30% off and you say, oh, I'll go get me a Dyson. Well, you're not going to get the 30% off with the, with the uh, Dyson because they can't do it. So that's just another thing to think about. So anyway, until next time, hope y'all have a real good day and come back to see me real soon. And if you can, join my channel and give me a thumbs up. I sure do appreciate all you people that join my channel. If you come back and see me again real soon, I hope I've got another video for you real soon. Y'all have a real good day now. Goodbye.